Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Heather. Today I am going to be sharing Michaela's entire pin collection. So we have this board and we have two, possibly three of those zipper books from Walt Disney World that I will be sharing with you. If you have not yet subscribed, please take a second to do that before you leave today. I am just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I apologize in advance. My hand will probably be really shaky, but Starting up here at the top is a significant amount of her Beauty and the Beast collection. Um, and then I just threw this little hidden Mickey pin in there because it was yellow and they're from France. So here are some of the really beautiful pins that she has. Here is the Couple's Heart um, pin. This is one of my favorites is Belle on the little uh, step and repeat. Well, it's not a step and repeat. She's on the red carpet with the stanchions behind her. I'm sorry, I'm trying to stand behind Michaela and I'm just trying not to knock into her. Um, here we have Belle, just full full body Belle here with the yellow dress. She's got some sparkle and glitter on her dress now. Here is one of those um, ooh, open, is it a book? I can't tell. Yes, it is a book. Sorry, open little book there that is in the style of her dress and the red rose. Um, this is from a little flare pack, I do believe. It is just a mirror. This is one that I have shared recently. It is Belle in this cute little castle uh, window at the top. These magnets are kind of tough, so they're hard to stay open. But this is really cute. I know there are multiple princesses in this style as well. I think it's really pretty. They used pink, and then there's a rose up here, like where a dormer would be. That's really cute. We have the Bell purse, and then we have this gorgeous Bell. I can't remember what collection this was a part of or what mystery box that was a part of. Over here, we have this vinyl mation of Bell in her provincial dress. She does have a book and a red rose in her mini ears. Then we have one of the nesting dolls. And then here is one of our more rare Bell pins of Gaston here. I'm trying not to get that to glare, but it's not working. And then we have Belle with this beautiful fan behind her, and it is a hidden Mickey pen with her signature on there. Most recently acquired is this Chip Sidekick book pen. Then Belle in this beautiful red chair reading a book. Next to that, we have a fantasy pen, and it is um, from, oh my goodness, pin bake shop maybe I can't remember the exact name of that but she had some really beautiful pins in wedding cake style all made of books for Belle of course and then we have this CD pin I sadly no longer have the vintage vinyl but I do have this like retro CD pin this is pretty old then we have Chip looking so happy look at his face he is so happy next to that we have another flare pin which is the enchanted rose these two pens are from Hong Kong, and this is Belle and Beast. I love that he's like starting to bow to her. Beautiful. We have the stained glass rose here, and Belle's library pen, which I've shared several times here on this channel. And then we have like a bust type, oops, there we go, bust type um, pen here of Belle. And then this is one of my other favorites, but it's like a, a flawed pen because her face is kind of bluish purple. Um, it is not a scrapper. It is a legit pen, but for some reason that is how her face turned out. Here we have her in one of my favorite styles of all time, and that is in her winter uh, enchanted Christmas gown. And then here she is featured with several of our favorites. Next up we have Belle and Jasmine. Um, this was a part of a lanyard set, and it was part of the first lanyard set she ever got. Here we have this beautiful little Rapunzel pen. Here we have this beautiful Happy Birthday Bell pen. And then this was in the Funko box from Hot Topic. It was the, um, where you got the big giant movie scene Funko. So that was really cool for her to get that. Um, here is the South Carolina pin that was out many many years ago and Belle is in her green dress which is my absolute favorite. Here is a VHS release cover pin. So here is the back of that. Um, I think I got it at the Disney store if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, let's see, that might do it for the bell pins that are on here. And I don't want to miss anything else that we have at this Steamboat Willie pin. I actually had doubles of that, so I just gave it to her. And here we're getting into our little small aerial section. I really like this one a lot. Um, all the glitter in her dress. And then here she is in C form. We are very lucky to have this. I don't think they do this anymore. I forget exactly what it was called, but I don't think they do that anymore. We have a few, actually. Um, I think we have Stitch and I think we have uh, the Country Bears. But this is a really fun one. I like these. And then here we have Ariel reading a book. Down here we have one from Finding Nemo. We got that on clearance for 99 cents. And then we're getting into a couple of her Christmas pins. Beautiful white with the snowflakes. And the, um, what I like to say is the Princess Candlelight Processional. <laughs> they look like they're caroling. <laughs> Sorry about that, the dog was barking, but this is just such a beautiful pen, and I know that Cinderella Loves Disney also has this pen. Here we have one. Um, it is July with Jessica Rabbit in there. Here is the Beauty and the Beast book pen. I forget what the series was called, but I'm really kicking myself that I didn't get the whole set. Um, it is so beautiful. She also has the 101 Dalmatians one. I love it. So much that goes on with these pens. All the writing, pin on pin on the inside. Love that it's a hinged pin. And over here we have a continuation of that booster pack with Snow White and Cinderella. Jasmine and Aladdin on the magic carpets. This beautiful Cinderella and Prince Charming pin from 2016 from Walt Disney World. Um, more nesting dolls of Snow White. Here is part of this um, the hat box that she, Lady was in, and then the spaghetti dinner with breadsticks on the other ear. Um, it's not dipstick, so I don't know which ones these are specifically, but I do love this one. Love it a lot. And then we're coming down here. 2018, 2017, some just years that we were there. And everything's getting messed up here. Okay, so we have this beautiful Tinkerbell pen. I love how vibrant and sparkly her wings are here. And I love her pose with her eyes closed. She's just really, really pretty. Here we have Jessie with all of these dangling elements here. And this was gifted to her. I can't remember who gave it to her, but somebody gave it to her. It's pen on pen. It's a best friend's set. And I don't know who the other part of that is. I've never seen it, so I don't know. Um, we have the Rubber Duck series. I think one of us has all of them. I think it's me that has all of them and she's got some um, extras. So this is the Pirates of the Caribbean one. Here's another cute Donald. And then Lotso. And we have Jojo Circus. Give me a comment below if you know or remember Jojo Circus. We miss it, we love it so much, and we used to, or they used to be in the lineup at the Play and Dine at Hollywood and Vine character breakfast. Here is the Toy Story 2 pin. I did get this with the Pins a Poppin' giveaway loop that Beth from the Collectioneers Club organized. That was one of the pins I chose specifically for Michaela to have. And then moving on to more of the most amazing TV show ever. This is her pen from Bear in the Big Blue House. And now they're deciding to mow, so I greatly apologize for that. Here is one of her Country Bear Jamboree pens. This was from 2000. We also have this, like I had stated a minute ago, from the Country Bear Jamboree. We love Big Al. He's amazing. So, of course, we were so excited to get that one. Here are some attraction pins because... Let me just move this a little bit. Um, we love to purchase a pen the first time she ever rides an attraction or one that we ever ride. 
So these are actually purchased from the very first time that she rode attractions. First time that she rode test track, just a regular rack pen, but we always get something for that. And then the first time she rode the Barnstormer, and let me tell you what, she was four, I think. She was four the first time she rode that, so that's pretty old. And then Big Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, Dumbo the Flying Elephant, um, and then actually this might have been a later pen because here's one from when she wrote it. Let's see what year this was. If we can. Oh my goodness. 2004? I think it is. Yep. So that totally makes sense. That was her first pen. The other one was just an extra, I believe, because we do love that and we have a lot of fun memories. It was her first roller coaster ever. And then we have Rut and Toque from Brother Bear. Also this Brother Bear pen. These were gifts to her from Beth. This is a beautiful little pen on pen element. And this Coda pen was actually in that pen's a poppin' thing as well. So I traded for that one. Here we have the Lunchbox series. We got Ratatouille, of course, because that's one of our all-time favorites. And then we have these three um, with the bell pepper, the salt, and the onion. I think that there's more. These are the only ones that we do have, though. But I would eventually like to get all of these for her for a set. And then I think we are coming over here to an end of this board shortly. We have a little small Frozen section. This is for the ride Frozen Ever After, for obvious reasons. And then we have Elsa over here with her glittery dress. And Anna. I think we missed Pooh. This one I got at a flea market years ago, so I don't even know if this is a legit Disney Parks official. I guess it is. I just can't see that writing. Um, but there was a lady selling pins at a flea market years ago. And I mean like 2004, 2005. So I saw that. She had a bunch of them or different birthstones, so I grabbed it. So I don't know anything about that other than it was really cute. And it's actually my birthstone, but it was too cute to pass up, so I gave it to her. But here is the um, Frozen Summer Fun from 2014. And then we are back around here to Christmas, Merry Christmas 2005. I loved that there was the globe and it almost looks like Santa's sleigh going across the, the globe, but it is the park icons and I love it because it still has the sorcerer hat on there. So it's really nice. And then we have mistletoe kisses, which is like an ornament. I don't know how that keeps getting stuck back there, but it's like a little ornament. Um, just one of the cutest pens. I love <laughs> Minnie's lips all puckered up with the red lipstick. And then I think the very last one to share on this board is Kanga and Rue. I really like that so much. I love the type of mother that Kanga is. I can relate to that very well, how she allows him to enjoy his life, but loves him fiercely. And uh, I love her nurturing side. So... This is all that is on her pen board. It was actually quite a bit more than I assumed once I started talking here. Now I'm going to get into her books. So yeah, we are plopped right down on her bed. It just made life so much easier. Um, so we have this book, but I do believe this is more of a memory book than um, a pen book. So let's just save this one for last so we can get down to the pens. Okay, so here is one of the first ones she has. I wanted to buy her a bigger one, so we didn't have so many, but this at the time was the only um, princess one they had, and of course she had to have a princess one, so we just bought two. But it has this beautiful little um, zipper pull on here, and it's already turning because of its age. But it's really beautiful, the little design of it, and it has these um, pink nylon straps. I don't even know if Disney World sells these things anymore. I might be totally lying. Here you can see we saved confetti from Bear in the Big Blue House when it had its live show years ago and it just wants to fall out all the time. So I'll share her buttons with you first. So this is her very first visit. Um, and then uh, it was 2004, uh, two, four, uh, five, seven, and eight. So eight was her fifth visit. Um, I thought that was really cute. And then 
we went in 2008 to celebrate her birthday even though we went in the October season it was still um, basically a birthday gift for her that year she has this um, multi-flag Epcot pen and we love getting these every time we donate to the conservation fund um, I don't even know what years these are but we do like to get those and then also we loved this one this was a really cute pen that was gifted to her so it's really cute to leave in here she has this um, emoji pack of Anna and Elsa and she has this pen from 2000 it is the Beauty and the Beast pen I forget exactly oh countdown to the millennium so this is a really beautiful one to have so lucky to have it and this one the pen posts were completely different but here's like a little rundown of the back of this in case you've never seen these before. I would absolutely love to have this entire collection. But I don't want to go bankrupt. So we just get what we like, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, we only got this that year because that was what was important to her. This beautiful Peter Pan's flight with the spinning element. I love all that glitter on there. It's really cute. She has a It's a Small World pen. This is an Ellie. And um, I don't see this one around too much. We actually gifted our second one to Karen from Karen's USA Adventure last year. Um, because she was into collecting It's a Small World. This one, um, just random pen that we picked up. <laughs> and then we have a cute little Buzz Lightyear mystery pen pack with a hidden Mickey. There was a really cute series where Mickey and Minnie were in various scenes of other movies. So this is Minnie as Jasmine and Mickey as Prince Ali on the magic carpet. And it does have some glitter in the clouds. It's really cute. Just a little random Minnie pen here. Um, sometimes cast members give her stuff and like, honestly I can't remember a lot of it. But um, I remember cast member giving her this one. This is a very different side of Tinkerbell, and I honestly love it so much. She is uh, decked out for Halloween. She's got her little Mickey Halloween bucket here. I love that, like, all these little orange elements. It's so cool to see a different depiction of her. Here is a, another Cinderella pen from 2008. And then more of these ducks. Here's one for Splash Mountain. A repeat pen here. And then... Um, the Phantasm, not Phantasmic, um, Mickey's Fill Her Magic pen here. And then this is such a gorgeous pen. I love the red sparkly back. And it's odd to see this trio together. Normally it would be, you know, either Belle replaced by Cinderella or Cinderella would be in here. So the fact that Cinderella is not in here at all, that's so odd to me. Um, and it's odd that Snow White has the rose. I don't know. It's just an odd pen, but I really love it. I think it's gorgeous. And here are some, like, what I called rear view mirror <laughs> pens. These were in little um, hidden mystery packs, hidden Mickey mystery packs. So here are the three that she has here. And then Cinderella's carriage. I love the little ornate details on it. And then just a random pen trading around the world Mickey pen. Pull this up. Everything kind of got cattywampus, so get it all straight for just a second here so I can show you. Here we have such an amazing uh, Lady and the Tramp group. And then here we go. Like, are you kidding me? How cute are these? I love this one in particular, but like this duo right here completely underrated. We have a Princess Dangle pen with some little like, rhinestones and hearts. It's really pretty. I think we got this the year that she did the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique um, because there was so much merch that was kind of stylized like this. So I feel like that was the first time she got to do that. Um, there is a little Tinkerbell pen. We absolutely love this one. Okay, let's not a huge fan of those movies. Um, I think they're okay, but we really love all of the nature aspects of it. We thought it was a gorgeous pen. Um, 
so that's why we picked that up. Here is Lilo trick-or-treating as a witch. And then we have first time Kayla did Mission Space. If I recall, that was 2007 or 8. Um, probably 7. I don't see a date on it, but here is a cute little figment pin. And then Playhouse Disney live on stage. Man, really wish they hadn't changed this so much through the years. Here is Tigger. Oh my goodness, he's fabulous with all these little rhinestones, is he not? Just love him. And then the first time we ever did Toy Story Mania. I love all these extra added elements. This like, protrudes up in a 3D effect here. Super cute, really love that. And then, oh my word, y'all. <laughs> We have so many of these pins, all given to her by cast members. This was where dreams come true, like year of a million dreams. And we were given so many of these, but they do have Tinkerbell in various poses. So you can see here, these two are identical. Um, and then you have all of these two are identical to this one. Uh, yeah, and then this one's different. So there's three different styles of them here all given to her by cast members for a little added magic. Here's up close, if you wanna see how beautiful these are. All that beautiful blue glitter. And then down here are some of her up pins. We absolutely love Carl. I love his little toes balls. Oh my gosh, aren't they the cutest? And then the grape soda pin. Let's see what else is back here. Oh, apparently it's a mess not wanting to stay up, so give me just a second. Okay, the one that fell out is this Happy Easter 2007. This is a pin on pin. Gorgeous, I love how springy and beautiful it is. She has this Donald pin, and there are these beautiful Admit One pins, one with Minnie Mouse and the other one with Tinkerbell. We have some more up pins. There super cute again with the tennis balls I can't even then cute little Aurora pen here look how cute these are are they not the most adorable I just love them um, and then Michaela has this gorgeous autograph book pen I actually have this one too so so pretty I love that and it Holds together with a magnet and then he, the cute little pen is adorable as well and then she has this glittery snowman mickey pen on to number two more of the um, conservation wildlife call of adventure and then this one was my pen from 1996 button it's a button sorry this is my button from 1996, and I have a Tower of Terror one I got that year as well. Let me see if the, the... Oh, she's looking old. Here's the back of it. It was a dollar, you guys. One dollar. <laughs> so that's it's pretty old. But um, I wanted to put it with her first. I'll fix that in a little bit. This is a enamel pen that I found at Hot Topic. I felt like it was pretty, pretty amazing. The size of it is huge. And I only paid like under $10 for it. So, gorgeous little lounge fly pin. All of our favorites. Okay, and then this was sent to us years ago when um, travel agents were getting like advanced promos or whatever for the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. And there was a person we had never met on Facebook who sent Michaela this. Um, the first year that the Seven Dwarves Mine Train opened, we were there. We could not find any pins for it whatsoever. So I just kind of put a call out in a Facebook group and said, Hey, if anyone like stumbles across any Seven Dwarves Mine Train pins, please let me know. I will pay shipping, shopping fees, all of that jazz. And she said, Hey, send me your information. I've got a pen for you um, that was sent to her because she was a travel agent. So um, there's the information on that. And I thought it was really cool to have, so we just never took it off of this. 
It's a really pretty pen. So these were never, this one was never sold in the park, as long as I can remember. Could have been. Um, but at the time, there was nothing out on the shelves. Okay, here we have Tinkerbell in the Disney World D. And then we have this gorgeous, controversial is this Prince Adam. <laughs> so we have Beast in his human form, and then Belle. This is beautiful. And then the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. So you can see the stylization in this one kind of resembles the one in that princess pen. And then we have the Disney World D again with Chip and Dale up to their mischief, as always. Here's another beautiful Valentine's Day um, Tinkerbell pen. I didn't realize how much Tinkerbell we have. It's kind of cool to see. And then here's another one of those pens making its way into this book. Here we have the Dumbo Ride. This is one of my favorites. Look at Donald's face. Mm, mm, mm. I love attraction pens, so of course that's my jam. Like with ride vehicles and all of that. This is perhaps one of our favorites as well. It's a dangling bell with her book pen. It's so beautiful. Um, this is like a little... Uh, what is that called? Rhinestone embellishment here in the middle of her dress. Beautiful pin on pin. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what the Ellie is on that or anything, but um, here we have, is it Akershus? It's been a while since we've eaten there to hear how that is pronounced, but this is one of our favorite restaurants in Epcot. So of course we had to get a pin there. I think we purchased this in 2008. And then this one, of course, we had to have when she started getting tall enough to ride some stuff. I just thought it was perfect. Um, and I think this was purchased in like 2005 or six as well. All right, you saw that Aladdin and Jasmine pin. Here we have Belle and Beast, Mickey and Minnie coming down the staircase. Isn't it gorgeous? I love these. She actually has a bunch of the Minnie Mouse plushies, like the eight inch plushies that have many dressed as other characters as well. So, or other princesses. So it's really cute. Here we have a magnetic bear in the big blue house opens up to the whole gang inside living their best life. Love them so much. We never get tired of watching those. So grateful to have those on DVD for her. Disney plus, please get on that. We need every season, every episode. Here's a gorgeous fairy godmother pen. I love all that navy blue in the background. Just kind of brightens up these sparkles a little bit more. Here we have the wardrobe. She is also another underrated character we love so much. And then another Tinkerbell one. What does that say? It's all about me. That's so funny. And then Lumiere. Actually, you know what? I told you those ones on the pin board were from Hong Kong. And I think these are. These are the ones from Hong Kong. I apologize. Um, I paid $50 for those years ago. And I'm talking like before 2007. I know. It is ridiculous. It just happened. Um, so back then, to pay that much for pens. Can you imagine? <sighs> okay, let's move on. So we have Cogsworth here. Laughing. And then we have Mrs. Potts and Chip together. And then the Kilimanjaro Safaris. I love this one so much. That's the cute giraffes on there. I wish that we had got one with Little Red on it if they had it. I may actually look on eBay and see. But I miss Little Red. Does anyone else miss Little Red? Um, that is this one. I think we're winding down to the very end here. Um, here we have these cute princess pens with the banner with their names on them. So Belle and Jasmine. I love their poses, all of them, like with their hands under their chin. They just look so feminine and beautiful. And then Ariel Cinderella. This is a, I think it's a small world pen if I'm not mistaken. I might be completely lying, but I feel like it's a small world pen here. Um, it was when we got in the mystery pack, so I don't remember. Um, oh, we have a Beauty and the Beast clapboard up here. This one is pretty old, too. Can't quite remember what year this one came out, but um, it was really beautiful. And then the very last three, I think. 
Yep. I'm going to check that other book. But I believe the very last three that we're going to be sharing are these gorgeous, gorgeous framed princesses from the Disney store. Cinderella looks phenomenal. I mean, they all do. They all look so gorgeous. I love the detailing in the frame. And then, of course, you have the beautiful little embellishments on here. Wow, opening this book was a absolute blast from the past. If you remember when the stamps came out, um, they also had a postcard set as well. So leading up to vacation, all of the characters were sending her postcards leading up to her vacation. So that was really cool to see. Do you want to look at them? You can. Go ahead. And then we have a little bit of memorabilia here. When Does anyone remember Pal Mickey? We still have him. And then here was the little Mickey oath that you had to give when you purchased him. Oh, here is uh, Jojo Circus coloring sheet from the restaurant. So that was a lot of fun. And then, um, it's got a little smushed. But there's like places for photos and autographs. We never used it for that. It was to uh, write memories in and like schedule with what we did. So this is 2007. Um, oh, it was still MGM. <laughs> How funny is that? Wow. That's really crazy. There wasn't a lot written in here, I don't think. Um, okay, we need to talk about where we stayed. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, she got a certificate when she got her pal Mickey. And I'm huge into postcards, so I always pick her one up for every trip. So this is the one we got that year. What else is in here? My goodness, what memories. I love these little things. I wonder if they still sell stuff like this. Um, places we ate in 2007. Um, oh, that was a sticker that came with a CD. We got her there. Um, ooh, pressed coins. Does anyone do pressed coins? We have quite a few of them. I don't know. I think the rest of her books are in her um, cabinet in her room but or across the room and then lord have mercy look at these can you even believe it wow actual hard tickets that is insane um and then confetti from playhouse disney so i had a cute little zipper pouch on the back to store stuff as well another cute zipper pouch with receipts in them. Wondering what that receipt was for. Just curious. It up, but it's so old that whatever was printed on it that we bought is no longer on there. <laughs> That's so funny that the ink has already just disintegrated. That's insane. Wow. Anyway, we do have more pens, so I'm glad that we opened this up. So I do remember that this one came with the book, um, and I've shared that before. This was, I remember this was given to her from a cast member as well. And I don't think that this is a, like, official Disney pen. I think this was a scrapper, but she's still really cute. This is from the first time she wrote Soren. And I love the little slider here. And then the same thing with Cali River Rapids, her first time, first time riding. And you can see Donald and Mickey on there. And it was what, um... Donald, Goofy, and Mickey on this one. That's really adorable. And then Dinosaur. This has a cute rubberized element here. So you have Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Pluto. Let's see, we've got two more left. This is Expedition Everest with a beautiful dangling element here. This is the first anniversary. Really cute there. And then the very last pin in her collection is this gorgeous Living Seas Nemo pin. Isn't that adorable? There you have it. That is her entire pin collection. Let me know if you are pin twins with Michaela. I hope that you enjoyed taking a look back, walking down memory lane with me just a little bit. I hope that you have a blessed day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.